So here we have a welding trolley from Welding Empire, and I want to go through exploding this. I've never touched on this in my channel, and it is incredibly simple and easy to do. And this involves the explode assembly workbench. Now if you don't have this, which I don't think it comes in FreeCAD by default, you of course go to Tools, Add-on Manager, and then under Workbenches, you would scroll down to Exploded Assembly, hit Install, Close, Restart FreeCAD, and it'll be there. <clears throat> Next, I want to explode this assembly, and there's a number of tools that you can have in the exploded assembly, but truly I have only ever needed to use this one. <laughs> so I'm going to go through this one today, and it's always been enough for me. Uh, so I'm going to produce more of a simple video on this. First off, I click the uh, part that I wish to explode, and then I and it, notice the face that I click, right? I'm going to be exploding in the direction that this face is. So when I click this face, it explodes in the direction that I've highlighted. Now, if I come down here in my tree, and I open up my explode assembly, I've got a simple group. And here I have distance. So I can double this distance to say 40. And I hit the rebuild button and it updates without any issues. 100, I can go even further, right? So I have a flexibility right there that is quite nice. So as another example, um, I will select this face as I want this to explode in that direction. Click this button. And now I have simple group 001 and I can change that to 40 or whatever number that I wish. I can do the same over here, select this face and move this in the same direction. Make that explode maybe 40 to be the same distance as the other one. But what if I want to move um, multiple parts at once? Well then I'm going to select all the parts that I wish to move at once and then the very last face that I select will be in the direction that I wish to move. So this was the last face I selected. We're going to move in this direction. I click here and you can see everything move, uniformly moves outward. And I'll adjust that distance to Let's go with something like 55. We'll go there. And then I can move these two at the same time. Of course, you hold control to select multiple faces. And you can see how we are slowly exploding the assembly out and we even have explode lines. And maybe I'll adjust this to be 50 yet again. Oops except this needs to be 50 here in the distance. There we go. Same thing. So the Explode Workbench is extremely simple. It's very nice to use. 50. And now I'll just do a few more explodes to get a sense of completeness. But what do we do when we want to add this stuff to a drawing. So if I want to make a drawing out of this, maybe I'll go to a nice trimetric view. We'll go to the Tektra workbench, which I think comes in FreeCAD by default. I've been using it for so long, I'm not even sure I remember now. Whoops. But on the Tektra workbench, I'll create a new sheet. And then I'm going to highlight all of my assembly elements. I'm going to hold Control Shift, select the first and last element, and everything else fills in between. And I insert my view of my exploded assembly. So that's how I can transfer this to a drawing. And if I look at the scale in this view, maybe I'll say, uh, 0.25 or make it a quarter of the scale that it was. We'll fit on the page a little bit better. And that is how you can uh, explode assemblies. Um, it's also nice and I'm using 018 right here. I've used 019 in some other videos. 019 gives you the option to have balloons. Uh, on your drawing, which is extremely helpful. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.